Hi, I'm Trish Rich. I'm a program director for Kaleidoscope Interventions in partnership with Puzzle Box Academy. And today we're going to talk about parent training. Today's topic is parent training. And you may ask why parent training is a topic that we're covering in our parent discussions. Well, there's a thing called generalization. And generalization is important because it provides consistency between the therapeutic site and the home. Because you have to be able to provide those opportunities for your child to do the things that are happening in clinic or in an academic setting. So generalization provide it, it takes a skill that you learn in one setting and then you're able to use it in another setting. It's a crossover, if you will, from being able to use the skill in one place to another that typically developing children do. What they do is they learn that if one picture of a dog is a dog, then that is all dogs. They need to learn that a Chihuahua is a dog. They need to learn that a German Shepherd is a dog. And they also need to learn that a Schnauzer is a dog. Mm -hmm. Generalization needs to be taught across settings, people, time and place, and even across dogs. So what we want to do is we want to make sure that we're teaching the skill in the clinic or in the academic therapeutic setting as well as in the home. If you're not receiving tips and instruction on how to carry out skills to provide generalization for your child, then you need to make sure that you ask your behavior analyst to teach that to you. You want to reinforce those skills that you've learned. You want to make sure that you know exactly how they're doing, what they're doing, so that your child can carry that skill over to another setting. One thing to consider is that you still will need to work with your therapeutic team to make sure that you are learning the most relevant skills to your child. Because what happens is, is this is like building with Legos. Skills are learned in a stepwise motion. You learn how to socialize. You learn how to ask for things you want in small, tiny bits. Think about tying your shoe. You learn how to actually cross the laces before you actually learn to tie the bow. Same thing with every skill we ever learn. So make sure that you are on top of what the latest skill is. Make sure you're in conversation with your behavior analyst or your therapeutic team to know exactly what you need to be teaching that they're teaching in center. So that's it for today. If you have a question or if you have a problem, please feel free to put the comment down below and someone from our team can even respond back to you or we might even make a video. All right, until next time.